Good Friday morning, and welcome to Ice Age TV, the internal combustion engine age YouTube channel that talks about all my cars and trucks and SUVs, motorcycles, the dogs, the keeper, keeper, keeper. Oh my goodness gracious, wow, Jesus Christ. It's Friday morning, is it Friday? Oh my God. Hey, good morning everybody there that tunes into my channel, <coughs> watches all my antics and, <coughs> excuse the uh, early morning coughing up and uh geez but what a long day what what a project yeah as always thank you for subscribing watching and uh yeah do i have my hands full Woo! yes watch my video of me putting this truck and trailer together it is so much work not complaining but if you want to go have fun and do it right it is just a lot of work how many more years can you do it as you get older in life before you have to hire somebody to take care of all the stuff you have. I mean, this stuff goes on. <laughs> Believe it or not, I remember being in, in a Hellcat forum where one guy, he's got a Dodge Charger Hellcat, and he had to have his buddies load the car bill for him to be able to go to the, uh, the track. He doesn't have the physical capability to, to do it. And so, with that being said, wow, here we are. Uh, spent hours and hours. I mean, I didn't even get done last night until close to 8 o'clock. And I'm still going. No lie. So what's going on, right? Well, we're going to Florida. And I decided to take four motorcycles, which the kid's laughing at me. Like, how are we going to have time to ride four motorcycles? Eh, you know what? I do a lot of goofy things, and I don't disagree. That, my goofiness, sometimes makes no sense. But sometimes it plays out. It really does. I just have ideas. And, eh, it's just all how we look. I never put any stickers on this this. Uh, trailer but i decided to put my ice age tv sticker if you want one if you want one uh it's ice age tv comments at gmail.com uh, i've got one for brett um going out that i forgot about yesterday so sorry but i'll get it out today before you take out of here but i'm surprised my daughter isn't up and about she is but she's not out in her truck and ready to roll out of here so this is not good this is gonna be a very long day because she has to drive somewhere and take care of business then we got to drive and drop off Kiefer. My wife this morning looked at Kiefer and said, ah, you're going to summer camp, little boy. He doesn't know that he's not going with us for the whole trip. He'll go for about an hour and a half ride trip. But at the end of the day, he's going to be uh, handed off to the former uh, owner and uh, be trained when we're gone because he needs a hell of a lot of training. And we watch my channel, I'm sure would agree that, yeah, your dog Kiefer that dog there, it's German Shepherds. I mean, it just isn't that, that him. It's just in general. It takes time to get dogs trained and all that other good stuff. And uh, wow, the Camaro. Got the Camaro kind of secured back here. And if you're watching the channel, whole different look back here for sure. And uh, the poor Camaro. Can I take the Camaro? Oh, my gosh. You know, the other day I was saying the battery's up front here. That battery isn't up front here. It's like in the back. I don't know if anybody's paying attention to that. I was talking about that. But here's the dogs. Not a real long video because I don't have time. I have to get everything still. I still have to get my whole office in order and get out of here. So it's going to be a very long day. <laughs> it's just going to be, ugh. It's just going to be, wow. I mean, just, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get to Florida. You can only hope when we're down there. We get a good two-week stay. If we get a good two weeks. Taking four bikes down makes sense. If we go down there a week, it'll make no sense. So, uh. Truck and trailer packed, power boost. Um, I really had no choice but the power boost. The Raptor, I've had these Raptors. I've towed these Raptors. And they can handle it, but they just squat too much. Rear suspension just way too much. Yeah, I could have just taken two bikes and taken the aluminum trailer. But you know what? I love the power boost because it has these extendable uh, mirrors where the mirrors are tow mirrors. And it's already set up with the uh, electronic brake controller. The trailer's already matched to the truck for it to behave better. So there's just so many nice things for the truck. And yesterday, spent the afternoon getting it all packed up and getting all the tires um, inflated and everything. And now we're going to leave the, uh, the property and uh, let my other guy help out, which that's a blessing because you have no idea how long I've been without being able to... Uh, <laughs> you just have no idea of what me... Having to run my business, have nobody behind me to help me take care of it. Has that been stressful? Um, yeah, it has. It just takes a lot out of you. So, uh, 
Anyways, I'm just going to kind of uh, have to probably stop for a moment. I had to take care of some things, and I'll get the video going again. All right, so got the truck loaded up last night, bikes, and here you go. So we got a, quite the collection of Harleys, in my opinion. I mean, got the breakout. The kids want to ride the breakout. Ooh, there's my wrench. Just notice that. Better get that because uh, that'll fly all over the place and do damage to something, right? So uh, get that out of here. But anyways, got the uh, breakout. We got the Lowrider ST. 117 got the fast Johnny 117 and we've got the uh, CVO ST so we got the ST packages going to Florida and it's not pretty cool what a collection right when I'm down there I'm gonna try to do some accessories and figure some other things out do I get the bike set up for the kid she's dying to drive that ride that bike I don't know we'll have to kind of I'm gonna go down there and talk to Harley dealer and see what he thinks, how much money that would be to do that, and then how much it compromises me from riding that bike, right? I mean, oh, we'll just buy another freaking breakout. I mean, give me a break. But anyways, uh, the, the, you know, the trailer's all set up. All the bikes are secured. And yeah, it's always a little nerve-wracking going down the road. I know you can buy video surveillance for your trailer, which that'd be a great idea. To know what's going on back here, that'd be a fantastic idea. Was I that smart to do that? No, not really. But anyways, there it is, and uh, get the trailer closed up, and get up my office, and get a bunch of paperwork, computers, this, that, that, this, blah, 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 right? Hey, if anybody's watching that uh, Tucker Carlson interview with with uh, Vladimir Putin, Putin, whatever I call the guy's name, I watched that, I couldn't, I just woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning, 3 a.m., and started watching that, and it was just going to be way too long. It's a freaking two-hour video, but oh my gosh. If you watch that video, I watched like a half an hour of it, and that's all I could really continue to watch. And uh, and so, anyways, the, uh, the the video it's 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 intriguing that Vladimir is just talking about the history of Ukraine. It's in some ways you think that that uh, Tucker Carlson's being played in that video because he spends so much time talking about the history of Ukraine, and then he he really you know comes across as he's a victim to NATO, he's a victim to the United States, and how all the problems are because of, in so many ways, other nations not taking in uh, Russia to be in, in NATO. It's a very uh, interesting video. It's just anybody here on my channel, I would definitely tune in to listen to it, and I'll probably listen to it going down the road as Tucker Carlson gets hauled off to jail in Russia. Here's the thing I wonder. How much did Tucker contribute to Vladimir's bank account. You just have to honestly say that it's a no-brainer. Um, I would sincerely think that Tucker Carlson paid off Vladimir to have this interview. I just can't see other, anything any, any otherwise. So I'm going to continue to watch that video to give me some entertainment, but I'd like to hear others weigh in and say, yeah, I watched the whole video. And yeah, this guy's a, a nutcase for sure, and he's a control freak. And he blames everybody else's, uh, he blames all his woes on himself from everybody else's problems, I guess, who knows. Gets heavy and deep on that. But anyways, back to the, uh, I think I'm going to have to just cut it off here because I'm just going to lose too much of my time to get the hell out of here. So for all those watching my channel, I truly appreciate everybody who watches it. And to keep the entertainment going while I talk going down the road. Yeah, I'd probably do some video going down the road, but much more challenging when you're out away from Wi-Fi, to get that to all upload to the, uh, to the you know, it just takes more time. But who knows? So the kid's driving the wild track. I'm driving the power boost. We're going to be twins in the colors. Is it the, uh, is it what color? Is it vapor blue? What is it? Azura gray? What the hell color? But here's that 450 over here. She's driven that down there to Florida. I've driven it to Florida. So could have taken the car hauler. Could have taken the F-250. Not the Ram truck, no way. I wouldn't trust that truck. That thing has 90,000 miles on it, and I think transmission problems are luring right around the corner. So there it is, all right? So everybody, great Friday, and it's incredibly how nice and warm in so many ways it is up here in the D.C. area in February. So uh, you can even see I'm dressed slightly, because by the time I get down in Florida, I'll be, I'll be burning up probably. So there's Christian. He found another vault, and he's going to go to summer school, a summer camp. The wife said he's going to go to summer camp, and well, he's there for a week or two weeks. And my uh, the boarder and the trainer and the owner of that dog 
that we bought him from and he's a little puppy she's so cool and her fees are very very reasonable so it's really awesome we've been blessed on that and it's kefer k-e-i-f-e-r because he's born on april 20th which means 420 and if you're a weed person that's you know that's the abbreviation that's the code for weed is 420 call your friend let's go let's go 420 that was the cannabis signal to go smoke your cannabis. So just so you know, it's kefir, not keeper. So, and it's spelled K E. I know I before E in the vocabulary, but in, in apparently in cannabis, the kefir word is E I, not I E. K E I F E R. That's it. Wrapping it up. And as always, God bless. Stay safe. We got all the Harley gear on. It's all the it's the Harley trip, right? We have to say it's the Harley trip. But anyways, God bless. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more adventures. And I'm going to get driving.